John. Uh, my real name is John Ramos. Uh, just a little introduction. I uh, want to do this uh, screencasting thing a little bit more frequently, so we're going to be a little bit more open, a little bit more professional about it. Um, basically, I am 27 years old, and I am into technology, anything to have to do with software or hardware. Um, basically, anything shiny I go gaga about. Um, here's uh, what I look like, if you haven't already seen in the other video. Uh, not too much to look at here anyways um, right now I am using Kubuntu 10.10 uh, which is released after the LTS was 10.04 um, I used to use uh, the GNOME interface uh, which is the default for Ubuntu a lot but um, I started realizing that it look, started looking more and more like uh, OS X which I'm not a really big fan of uh, that, that uh, interface and so I just want to share a few things with you here about uh, why I use Kubuntu and uh, why KDE is the preferred desktop environment for me. Um, it is glitzy. It is. It is. It does have a lot of uh, a lot of shine to it. Um, very eye candy-ish. Um, this is, of course, without Compiz yet installed. It's just running Kwin. Um, I wanted to share with you a little bit about KPackage Get Kit. Uh, I keep saying Get. It's KPackage Kit. It's gotten a lot better uh, since the past past couple releases. Um, you can actually search software here or by categories. Let's say if I wanted to look for fonts, I would just click on fonts, wait a few seconds for it to load, and here are a ton of fonts. And they're as easy to install as clicking install and then hitting apply right down here. Um, so it's getting less and less complicated um, it's almost on par with the Ubuntu Software Center I say almost and a lot of people are gonna argue with me uh, I guess it just depends on the user it's really easy to use for me um, updates are right here and then of course your settings for how often you like your system to update and uh, you can adjust your uh, your package sources here the the, the repositories all right, so I'm going to go ahead and close that, and then here is a system settings like you would find in any Windows machine. Uh, very similar. Uh, you're going to have all your settings for every little thing to have to do with uh, your desktop interface, from uh, the appearance, which as you can see, I'm not using the default um, the default window decorator uh, that comes with it, which is Oxygen, because I I've tested this one versus Oxygen, and it Oxygen does tend to slow down the interface a little bit, where your windows are slower, they 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 uh, are jittery a little bit. So let me show you which one I'm using now. Here, all right, we're gonna go to. Oh, we're already on system settings. Okay, so we're gonna go down here to Workspace Appearance, and I'm gonna try to find the link so I can put it in the in the notes down at the bottom here the interface that I'm using is called OSY it's very fast I don't know if it's gonna show that there and it's not jittery at all um, compared to the default window theme and it's very it, it's it's not translucent so you guys can actually see what's showing up on the screen there um, alrighty then and uh, this is all I really have to show you for now um, there will be more screencast to come and more showing off of uh, not only eye candy type Linux stuff but also in-depth uh, terminal commands uh, how to get Linux running exactly the way you want it to without having to sacrifice the eye candy as well so thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, uh, if you got anything from this and you're a KDE user, you might want to you try out this uh, window decorator. It definitely speeds up the uh, the opening and closing of apps, uh, and it's not as jittery as the uh, default theme. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next video.